Recently, Wendell Pierce was on Bill Maher's show. And he was asked, why is black violence so bad today? And after his answer, he was hailed an intelligent hero. So we're gonna break down and analyze his answer and we're gonna find out how much intelligence is actually there. That yes, the involvement of violence in black folks uh, comes from that long history that the president was talking about that um, you, you, we have to remember that we learned from some of the best. They had some white boys came over here that, uh, that did the first beheadings in Point Coupee, Louisiana, where I'm from. Slave insurrection, that was the way you dealt with it. Tuskegee syphilis incident. We're going to see how black men die if they have syphilis, but we pretend we treat them with penicillin, and we're just going to watch the pathology of how they die. Now, that wasn't back 200 years ago. That was 1930 to 1974. We're talking about giving these wonderful blankets to the Native Americans infected with smallpox as they walked on that trail of tears just to see how they die and to eliminate their population so we can take all of that land. So the violence that is in America has come from a very learned position that was brought here by some Caucasian folks. First of all, Mr. Pierce, I praise your work on screen. You're a great actor, a thespian, if I had to say so myself. For starters, as we break down and analyze your answer, let me say that you were on the right train, but definitely the wrong track. Mr. Marr basically asks you, why is black crime so bad today? Since 90% of the crimes committed by blacks are against other blacks, the question really is, why is black on black crime so bad today? You started off with the fallacy of two wrongs make a right. Seems like the only thing you did to me, my brother, was intelligently appeal to the people that have problems with basic comprehension. You're alleging that black people are violent because of what they learn from white people. To me, that's an insult. I learned early in life that two wrongs never make a right. The examples he used were heinous and barbaric. And just because somebody else did it doesn't mean that I'm going to do it. Just because somebody else jumps off the bridge definitely don't mean that I'm going to do it. In his comparison, he didn't even compare apples to apples. The examples of biological warfare and the lynchings were white on black crimes or white on brown crimes. But our violence and crimes are 90% black on black. Again, Mr. Pierce's example only gave strength and validity to Bill Maher's question about Black violence. Guys, each and every one of us know from our past that we were beaten, lynched, burned, bombed, raped, hit with biological warfare, humiliated, segregated, undereducated, and I could go on and on and on and on. My point is this. With us knowing all of these bad things that have been done to us, why in the world would we ever want to harm each other? I am not a religious authority, but if you believe in the Bible, the Bible talks about sins of omission and sins of commission. So if you think that the good Lord is going to let you off the hook based on what somebody else did, you must be out of your mind. We don't need to rationalize or justify wrongdoing any longer. Our standards are low enough. We don't need any more actors, entertainers, or sports players acting as activists for us. A lot of our activists need to be deactivated. If you don't like anything that I said, please leave deductive proof in the comments. Otherwise, like or dislike the video. Thank you very much.